Washington DC. You gotta get it on my mess up, give me like you Okay? Senator Sele, Gilmora Congress Amalgin, Sumong Mora Limited Arun, Gilmora Congress Amalgin. I get a meeting of President of Terra, members of Congress. I assume one more limited Arun, and give me a Gilmora. I <laughs> 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 Washington Monument. Okay. Oh, she is not saying. I get ambassador Lana, so I drive her, Mangat. I drive her, Mamagat, for the Sulel. But the ten more gate and the Gamla Bacala with the Mamma. Oh, I 
Fish market in Artia. Era White House. Office building, Iraq and Washington DC. I want to tell you about it. I'm going to do it. I'm going to senator a chairman of resource. So I'm a president of the Toy Biong. I'm going to do it. 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 I'm going to do it.
Tie this up with the security issue, lah, kampa. Yeah, I think then I shall issue shall allow the arrivals. Hindi. Algo pa ko niya. Apa yung timing ni shall say kita lang. Shall hearing. 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 Shall And if they can write it off, you use that money to purchase the cable. cable. Yeah. Oh, I was going to mention it the time I got the brand new. Maria. Yeah, you know what? We get the, we get the cable cord to sell. We take him that too, and and you know, we sell cable. I sum up. I think they they beat the one million. I sum up the move. And what? Say, say, I think ten million. I got the release fiber optic. Oh. Di at least right off that amount. Selari es loan. Selari ada solusi untuk black introduce seringi oleh presiden. Sebran bukan tentara guru. Oh, ini agak agak membeli part lah. Oleh tentara presiden untuk mencari tele negosiasi tim. Di dia ada pengurus mengurusi hal part. Kumpul special lah. Oh, saya brought tentara many times tadi. Oh, ya. Komisar mungkin le Jeff Frantul wasi ya negosiate atau tergel lara compact review. Adi mna hal dia hal saklar terma tengah rakyat tu pun boleh boy. No, oleh no, enggak lah. Like I told you, agi mna, agi wasi semua mendaik sepi untuk handle ni. Ini 
da Rotterdam, Hayat, Washington DC. Like a tall building, a downtown DC. Like a girl boom, Mark Gore. Sitting in the waiting room, a million things go through my head. There's a chance we'll lose a baby. At least that's what the doctor said and Then she walks into the hallway I see the look in her eyes Lately things just ain't gone our way We both begin to cry Tenía Mini Cooper. La de Regal Mano. La Silvia. La Silvia. La Silvia. La Silvia. Mini Cooper. Very nice sports car. Cemetery. Uh, 
seguido el Sai Dramón a mi servir tamal. Exactly one year later, tira. Ponía a Rigo Pening en el mismo. Más allá no se ha seguido el Almost every day, Naria burial ceremony. Burial ceremony, burial. Almost every day. I can't believe it. Yeah, no luck. Yeah, they're going to have to march on down. I see. Are retired? Are active? In their dependence. Oh, their dependence. Naria, I'll get along. I'll get the bell. I'll get the luck. Take it to Spalmore Arlington. 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 Tidak boleh nanti almarhum sendiri. Tidak kita pergi ke 
<laughs> Old cemetery. Now I'm telling my must we Say that trial, ma, parking, ma, let the lelal. Lo mako klaviro tiya, ma, maring los tirap to out duties. Tell Bloom, Mal, we got building a tear. No, it's a mal. Then that clinic. The military post. Fort Myer. Fort Myer. Then the Maria Bowling, my community center. Police escort them. Itiale, Gilesial, Dauli, Mavi, Tigales Chapel, Giberni. I want to say that you are in the game near Secret Service. Lulva resident, forgive me.
uh, that uh, those who were lost uh, have indeed been found. Uh, so we are here to, to celebrate with you uh, that finding of, of our lost brothers and to ensure that uh, that fine tradition of the military services uh, continues, uh, that we will always honor a fallen comrade and we will never leave him behind. So it is indeed a, a, a privilege for us to serve you here at our International Cemetery today. God bless all of you. Thank you, Sean. We invite you to open up your Armed Forces hymnal, that's the Red Hymnal book in your pew, and join with us in singing number 198, God of our Fathers, verses 1.
found in prayer, and some of the comfort can also be found in the Word of God. The book of Ecclesiastes, the third chapter, verses 1 through 8, we find these words. There is a time for everything, a season for every activity under heaven, a time to be born, a time to die, a time to plant, a time to uproot. A time to kill, a time to heal, a time to tear down, and a time to build. A time to leave, and a time to life. A time to mourn, and a time to dance. A time to scatter stones, and a time to gather them. A time to embrace, and a time to refrain. A time to search, a time to give up. A time to keep, and a time to throw away. Time to tear, a time to mend, a time to be silent, and a time to speak. A time to love, a time to be, a time to war, and a time to peace. A time to season for everything. The Lord bless you. plane 
to sustain damage to the wing. They were able to release their munitions. And those aboard, as they were flying away from that mission, uh, found their airplane wing coming off, and the airplane spiraled down, taking with it the lives of their crew. Three airplanes that day looked for survivors, but failed to find any traces of them. The Army Air Force's missing air crew report stated that a small launch was seen in this area headed for the town, approximately one hour after 2nd Lieutenant Arnett and the crew went down. The Japanese control over the islands at the time prevented a more comprehensive attempt to rescue and to locate the aircraft. It was not until recently that the crew was identified and found by <clears throat> an independent organization. These men are returned to us today to receive the honors that all our fallen servicemen and women receive. It upholds our tradition of never leaving a fallen comrade. It upholds our tradition of ensuring that those who are lost always be returned. It is indeed a privilege and a pleasure to serve you and your families today as we welcome home our brothers as we lay them to rest in the nation's most hallowed ground. My dear friends, it is indeed a pleasure to be with you and to serve here in the midst. So as we recall this, let us turn our eyes and our attention towards that eternal life, for soon we will process from this place into the Garden of Stone, where our brothers will find an appropriate and a fitting eternal house.
was Tom Brokaw who wrote in his book entitled The Greatest Generation. He wrote extensively about this generation of men and women who served, who were able to look beyond self and find a bigger purpose, a higher call. They served and served well. No doubt those of us who wear the uniform today, we stand on the shoulders of giants who stood on the shoulders of giants. The truth is, we owe yesterday's generation a great deal of gratitude and appreciation. Someone yesterday had to do the heavy lifting. Someone yesterday had to take the blows that we could stand tall and proud today. So on this day, we say thank you. Time, time itself. Also, time to remember their faith, remember the, the power of God. And while yesterday was a time to weep, today is a time to celebrate lives that were well lived. I once was lost, but now I'm found. We often say that old soldiers never die. They just fail. But like old soldiers, these heroes, their souls have, have failed. But my prayer today, family and friends, my prayer today is that their souls have faded away from a better place. A place where every day is sunny. A place where the Sabbath has no end. No more sickness. No more difficult days. My prayer today is that they made their final PCS move. Place called heaven, surrounded by pearly gates. St. Peter greeted them by simply saying, Well done. Well done. Good and faithful souls. My prayer today, too, is that when you leave this place today, you will remember that when you're down to nothing, God is up to something. He's working it out. He's making it better for you and for me. And we still serve God who has the power in the world to make right now all right. While yesterday was cloudy, the sun seems to be shining today. My prayer today, too, is that you will consider this advice, this advice that I continue to receive from my 95-year-old grandmother, who we call Sweetie. Sweetie Pie has been telling us for years, make sure you hug each other. She's still living. Hug your family members. Hug your friends. Never know. You may not see them. As a young boy, I didn't quite understand Sweetie Pie's logic. Oh, but now that I am a little bit older, I think I get it. At some time, when days like these, what you need in addition to the spoken word is the unspoken word, the hug. Her theory is that the hug has a way of rejuvenating the heart and the soul in a way that words just can So maybe before this day slips away, and the moon and stars meet at him to consider the advice of a 95 year old grandmother who we call sleep. Give each other a big old fashioned grandmother hug. I seem to think there are a few hug words here in this morning. And in so doing, it made you all feel better by and by. In your words, you describe this day as being a day. Blessing, time to celebrate, a day of closure, a day of understanding your words. And so I simply say to you, may God bless the souls of your loved ones. May God bless you. And may God bless a man. For he is and shall continue to be our own student. There is a time. A season for everything. Time to cry and time to laugh. Time to celebrate. Let us continue to celebrate the lives of these American heroes whose lives will not be forgotten but be remembered. Through you, God bless you as you continue your soul journey down life's dusty road. God is good. Not so much.
Thank you for this day. That you allow us to be a part of it. We ask now, Lord, that you continue to bless this service and all that we do and say as we move from this location to the next. Travel with us. Go in front of us now and guide us. Be behind us and catch us. And Lord, please, stay around.
Wala ka ba di wais eh? Ay kalimusin na lang ako mo ergit Sila ka hold bro lang Sa marching band na lang Wayak mo dan, mga color cards Ang mga Arlington National Cemetery Fort Myers USA Kita yung limousine na lang Mastat na lang Ang mga kulit 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 na lang Paid for by military Ito na lang mga mga kulit na lang Ang mga kulit na lang Family members, ako talmaral nga ragi the limousine. The yeah, president, Morgay, the Moki Uleli say. Kita kaya rogu limousine na tuob ito. Ela ay niya mo mraer sila the Morgay, the president. Okay. Tidal mo mis sringi na lang ah. Tegi dia National Cemetery, Arlington National Cemetery. Tiak klor, tiak klor ngermit Ali. Em lama masih kata. Ay, elah kita enjoy a freedom, mungkin kita ada bela kata tu kalau setir kai kita, they died, you know, for our freedom indirectly, they died for our freedom. So freedom we all enjoyed, it's. True. Yeah, being paid for by daughters and sons of America. Si da kahon mo mas tiring mrar sa Elmar Road. Yak mula ko si loge di kita gel di tiringer soldado lo March kita gel limosin. Elmar di ogi ulle. Families. Family members, yes. Amam alo ti teruri ulle ki di imle mga mga lugar 250. Kita baby ra gel eh. Headstone or tiga gitu, ladra first masak nama Korean War terlalu tiang Vietnam. So lang eh, ngati al mulgor ambassador gitu lu asai ngah akmat esokan betul terlalu tiang masai. Makau tiang mereka bersulah cemetery belawa, eh buk betul terlalu tiang. Di ulgu motor gak betul terlalu risen. Di sukum dia kah closest selor kali ladra Maria Alas dengan Rakwam. Alu beng, the request ni ber, nak take the Arlington National Cemetery yang nak take kita. Di mak lebok. The cell punch pole, how ini? Punch pole lah direct mungkin. Ela cell mau mesti saya kaji dal headstone. Seorang yang agak agak mak lewa, the general, the admirals, okay? Angara kaji dal mak lew. Oh, mak lew tenet. Tiga officer sak lew headstone nanti. A Tirgel enlisted man, I'm going to get it. Why not? The Tirgel is going to get it. All right. The long spring, I'm going to get it. 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 Yang hari ini tirgel tirgel ngah di kesar tirgel betok dalgul lara Normandy ma ngarap sel direct National Cemetery ngarap Huri Ping tirgel lara Orange Bi Orange Bi cerap lilo abdel mau bertil ma Huri Ping direct ngar ini ya awal kali lara tiga gitu le belur adois ngah tirgel lara adois ngar ini awal kali ngar se mal betok asemeter National Cemetery lara belur am tirgel all over the world mukmiu di enjoy rafidum mukmiu dia ham bateng lia Somebody had to pay the price for your freedom. So, you know, believe it or not, you know, somebody have to pay while you're asleep and enjoy watching ball games and enjoy your life. Somebody is dying in the front line for you. So you better believe that. Mm. Tiada tulu barang. 
Nou, maar stel direct al die melk te min moe trek al, lika. Dat is koel aan de zaal. Ja, ik wil ooit chef prins mee, poel. Maar nu wil ik dat wel zeggen. Ik wil dat niet. 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 Ya kis. Oh, kelabok lah. Oh, ada sumpal kan? Oh, mesti saya gaji dari bumi ngara left. Mesti saya gaji. Kita berbira. Oleh tiap saya oleh saya kita malam malam yang melong oleh malam lep blow up dan atas ramai melong uyu oleh aku teng ngil ngil ngatuk kor eh ngil ngatuk ngil ngatuk kor ngil melong ngil fred oh mak oya oh oh ni ni jadi jasa layu sih Saya lagi dah imora burial ngasai. Si dia lalu kau mesti ni dah ngap. Kau ni imora kobal. I see you, and there you are. And when 
Washington Memorial Monument. Not a bad ground. Greetings again, family and friends. We certainly welcome you here to Arlington National Cemetery. Today, of course, we say farewell to significant pieces of the American quilt. Every piece is significant, every story is important. So today, today, we lay to rest soldiers who we have defined as being heroes. There is an adage that says, as long as you keep the memory of your loved one buried in your heart, they never go away. May the memory live through you. God be with you. My brothers and sisters, we read in the 23rd Psalm that my shepherd is the Lord, there is nothing I shall want. Fresh and green are the pastures where he gives me repose. Near restful waters he leads me to revive my drooping spirit. For he guides me along the right path, and he is true to his name. For if I should walk in the valley of darkness, no evil would I fear. For you are there with your crook and your staff. With these you give me comfort. For you have prepared a banquet for me in the sight of my foes. My head you have anointed with oil, and my cup is overflowing. For surely goodness and kindness shall follow me all the days of my life. And in the Lord's own house shall I dwell forever and ever. And let us pray. Into your hands, Father of mercies, we commend our brothers that in the sure and certain hope that together with all who have died in Christ, they will rise with him on the last day. We give you thanks for the blessings which you bestowed upon them in this life, for they are signs to us of your goodness and of our fellowship with all God's holy ones in heaven. O merciful Lord, turn toward us and listen to our prayer. Open the gates of paradise to your servants and comfort those who remain with the assurances of faith until we meet in Christ Jesus and with our brothers in heaven. We ask this through Christ our Lord. Because God has chosen to call our brothers from this life to himself, we commit their remains to the earth, for we are dust, and unto dust we shall return. But the Lord Jesus Christ will change our mortal bodies to be like his in glory, for he is risen, the firstborn from the dead. So let us commend our brothers to the Lord, that the Lord may embrace them in peace and raise them up on the last day. With faith and confidence in the Lord who has called us his own, let us pray that prayer which our Savior has taught us. <coughs> our Father, who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done, on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day and our daily bread. Give us our trespasses, and as we forgive those who trespass against us.
the love of God and the peace of the Lord Jesus Christ bless and console you and gently wipe every tear from your eyes. For he, in the name of the Father and of the Son and of the Holy Spirit, eternal rest grant unto them, O Lord, and let perpetual light shine upon them. May they rest in peace. May the souls of the faithful departed through the mercy of God rest in peace. And so for our comrade in arms, Second Lieutenant Jack Arnett, Flight Officer William Simpson, Second Lieutenant Frank Arhar, Tech Sergeant Robert Stinson, Staff Sergeant Jimmy Doyle, Tech Sergeant Charles Goulding, Staff Sergeant Leland Price, Staff Sergeant Earl Yo. Our nation bestows military honors because in life they honor the flag. And now in death, oh, the flag shall honor them. Ready, step. Ladies and gentlemen, please stand for Ready, military step. honors.
Right. Hey.
Ladies and gentlemen, this concludes the committal services at Arlington National Cemetery. And we thank everyone for coming and may God bless each and every one. Thank you. You may return to your vehicle. This will conclude the burial that I take the Telolomul Tei, the serviceman, and take the Nobdak Tei to Arlington National Cemetery. And I take the other to the museum, see the band of Rolan, take the Orokiole Tei to the Elgamal Dilitrial, Ladder Bled on Mestir, and Renga Sulir. Club. Well, I'm saying Army and Navy. They are Navy Army. Army and Navy. Marmorins. They are Marines. 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 Jadi kita tengok belum lagi. Oh, lagi pun, nampak Army Navy. No, kau dah tira. With the Republic of Palau pick flag. No, it's a senana.
each and every day A sacrifice is made by every family And as a soldier who's gone away But it's understood by all That there's a price that we must pay so now we're, we're at the uh, Navy Army Navy uh, Country Club, which is they have a beautiful golf course here, and. Uh, uh, we just came back from the uh, uh, cemetery, uh, which is, uh, you know, everybody, members of the family of all eight soldiers uh, came to Army Navy Country Club to uh, to participate in this reception where everybody can talk about uh, the, uh, uh, the, the war uh, stories and also at the same time they have a, a slideshow or they're going to have a, a movie uh, to show the... Uh, the actual site of where they found the, the remains of these eight soldiers. Ela que era a primeira vítima da história. Aqui na tal reception, temos a maioria de teus robôs membros da família que vai ter ter aí lá dentro de ti que ti. De história é a primeira que aqui de história que o povo mal de morar a para o grupo de mamã morar algo para San Diego, o mês de teus robôs também de morar San Diego, morar a Hawaii, o mês de teus membros a ser referring to the city of Hawaii, and I think you are going to have a May 6th. So we're going to have a president of the United States, and we're going to have a president of the United States, and we're going to have a president of the United States, and we're going to have a president of the United States, historical event that we're going to have a program in the United States. It was a shoestring. Shoestring. And it looked like it was brand new, and it was 65 years Later. down there. A shoestring. I can't believe it. Was Bob your older or younger brother? He was older. He was, he was the next to the oldest. We, we had James, James, Bob, Dick, this is the brother here. And then there was uh, uh, Daryl, Wayne, and then me. There were six boys. Six boys. I was a, I'm the baby. <laughs> so then, I'm the baby. And there's four, uh, there are two of us left now, Dick and myself. And uh, four of the six, we went in the military and we we served in the military. 
I, I did it. too. It is. Yes, sir. During the Second World War. No, no, I went in the Second World War. Yeah, I'm only 74, right? Now. 74, I see. <laughs> okay. Did you go to the Korean War? Uh, no, I, I went right in after that. I see. You know, we've traveled about 10,000 miles, you know, our president, got the president of the Senate, and some members of the Congress, traditional chiefs, and we travel about 10,000 miles just to come to be part of this. I know, uh, I told Mr. President there that I just couldn't believe when I got the information that the president, top age was coming, and I said, I got to meet the guy. I got to meet them all. And uh, that's how much we appreciate you guys. We, we came because not just, you know, we love you America. You got your freedom. The freedom that they were fighting for. Yesterday. Yeah. You the freedom. You. They died not only for Americans to enjoy the freedom, but also us indirectly. We are enjoy the same freedom because Americans who died during the war. Someday I'd like to come over to your island and see. So sure. Yeah. They're most of them. Yeah. I just, uh, you guys are so friendly. Yeah. And I just can't believe people with armed people are so friendly. Yeah. Until today. Until today. People are so friendly. Why is it? There's so many in there. Until today, sir, we continue on, you know, sending our young men and women to join American military. We serve along. We we'll fight side by side with Americans because we believe in the democracy that we all enjoy and some people pay for it and your brother is included. And now, some of our young boys have made the ultimate sacrifice in yeah. Afghanistan and in Iraq. Myself, I served two years in Vietnam. I served 23 years in the United States Army. And I, I know how it feels. Thank you, sir. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you, Edward. Thank you. Stuart Beck is our ambassador to the United Nations. Thank you, sir. How do you do? Hey, uh, I, just, I just wanted to meet them and shake their hands. Welcome to the Army Navy Hunting Club, uh, honoring uh, members of War 53 and all the families that came today. We want to uh, tell you that uh, this is a place that we can let our hair down just a little bit after all of the uh, activities today, a place to mingle. A little socializing, meeting everyone from all the different groups, and uh, just enjoy as uh, as you see fit. My name is Flip Homer. I'm part of the Vent Prop Project, yes, and they asked me to do a little emceeing today. There will be some speechifying going on because we're near Washington D.C. and it's a lie thing that somebody has to give a speech. But the good news is I'm not doing it. <laughs> First, I'd like to. Uh, we have a lot of honored guests. Uh, you met a number of the Plowing delegation uh, yesterday at the uh, uh, funeral home, and but we do want to recognize that the president of Palau, uh, Johnson Tarbion, is back in attendance with us today. And also joining us who wasn't here yesterday is the ambassador, uh, Stuart Beck, and his wife are joining us today. And so welcome. <laughs> From the 307th uh, Bomb Reunion Group, we have uh, Pat Renfranz. Uh, Kathy, Daniel, Jim Walsh, they will be taking the lectern here in a little bit. From the uh, Bent Prop Project, if you could kind of wave, there are a lot of us in here, but we have uh, Derek, Abby, Warren Bruce, uh, Will Hilton, Reed Joyce, Joe Maldangasang, who without him we would find nothing in Palau. <laughs> Mark Noah, Dan O'Brien, Mike Old, Molly Osborne, Jennifer Powers. Beth Rada, Mike Rabel, Katie Razdor, and <laughs> Paul Swimmer, Val Val Slocum, and if I left anybody out from our group. All right, with that, I'd like to bring up Pat Scannon so that he can say a few words that, to you. Ah, that was fast. <laughs> I, uh, I, I will have just a few words. I, I, uh, I'm, I'm actually speechless looking across the room here. So many people that I know, uh, so many people that I've worked with, so many of us who've worked together over the years in so many different ways. But to have all of our people that have worked so hard here with the families and here with the uh, representatives uh, uh, from Palau, uh, the president, um, 
and also uh, members of the uh, United States military, it, it's, uh, it, it really takes my breath away. I think it takes all of our breath away to, uh, to have this chance. Uh, as kind of a joke when we, when we started, or at least we thought it was a joke, we, we, we wanted to have a reception where we would uh, have an opportunity so the families could meet each other and talk. And we figured, well, that was going to be about 30 people. And um, we obviously exceeded not only that, but you know we were worried about whether the room was going to be big enough. But this has just turned out to be absolutely perfect. So I really do hope that all of you have a chance to meet each other, uh, get to know each other a little bit in, in a way that um, is less formal than um, our time together last night. So thank you, Kim, and, um, and enjoy the time. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you very much. We're honored to be here from the 307th Reunion Group, and uh, we'd like to ask the, Mr. President at this time if you would please come up. Uh, from, from the 307th Bomb Reunion Group, we'd like to present a plaque to the people of Palau in appreciation for their efforts in assisting the BIP project and bringing this to fruition and bringing these lost souls back to us. And in appreciation, we thank you very much. The plaque reads, to the people of Palau from the 307th Bombardment Group <coughs> Association and, gratefully, and a grateful nation of the United States of America in appreciation for your assistance in bringing and returning our downed comrades from World War II to their homeland April 2010. <coughs> <laughs> Members of the families of the eight American warriors who lost their lives in Palau, friends, ladies and gentlemen, I'm here with a delegation from Palau to witness the final ceremony to mark the return of these brave young men who made the ultimate sacrifice in Palau, in defense of the American way of life, in defense of liberty, freedom, and justice. As a consequence of their sacrifice, Palau became a free country. The American principles of democracy, individual rights, and freedoms have been extended to us, which we enjoy today. In fact, many of our young men and women are joining annually the U.S. Armed Forces because we know the price of liberty is the blood of the patriots. So today, I'm very, very happy with my delegation, consisting of our ambassador to the United States, Hersey Kyoto, our ambassador to the United Nations, uh, Stuart Beck, our Senate President, Malik Patul, and two leaders from Palau who are veterans of the U.S. Armed Forces. One is uh, our traditional high chief reply who did 27 years with the United States Marine Corps. And the other is uh, Senator Alfonso Diaz with a camera there who did 23 years and both of them served admirably in Vietnam. So today is a day of joy for us to know that these brave heroes who lost their lives in the late in tranquil waters of Palau but year to be home, have finally made it to their homeland. Thank you, and may God bless America. Thank you. All right, now for my 15-minute speech. <laughs> I'll kill you. <laughs> <laughs> I got the shot. <laughs> uh, 
now's the time we can uh, socialize a little bit more. Hopefully everyone has a name tag, um, and if you don't, the name tags are on the table, and we have some blanks if you need to make one if you don't have a name tag. And the last group of people we really need to recognize, and I'd love to do it, every single one of the family members who are here by name, but how about we do this? The family and friends of Frank Ahar, the family and friends of Jack Arnett, the family and friends of Bill Simpson, the family and friends of Charles Goulding, the family and friends of Robert Stinson, the family and friends of Jimmy Doyle, the family and friends of Leyland Price, and the family and friends of Earl Yo. These are our most treasured guests here today. provided the funds were provided on a full faith and credit of the United States basis, which means you don't have to seek annual appropriations. Um, so it's a permanent and definite appropriation. And the, the compact and the extension for the FSM and Marshalls uh, provides for the amounts in the agreement to be adjusted for inflation. And the U.S. proposal does not include that language that was in the original compact and was done for FSM and Marshalls. And, I got a call this morning from Tony Lovato, and he said to talk to you about um, the language you all did for the episode of Marshalls. So, uh, yeah, 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 yeah,
Yes, absolutely. That's, that's, that's right. <laughs> absolutely. Yeah. Uh, so it's important to try to keep that uh, part of the, the relationship. Although I'm sure the president would like to come back every year and ask you to help get that appropriate. <laughs> sure, sure. <laughs> sure. If we see you in the compact alone, the inflation factor is there. Good faith and great clause is there. Seek to amend the economic uh, assistance provisions of the compact. That's easier. Mm -hmm. uh, we hope that we will be signing an agreement as soon as possible. We made us, we submitted our counter proposal yeah, yeah. today. At last night, I should Last that. night, we did a copy for you. It's very reasonable, I think. Mm -hmm. uh, ours uh, differ from the United States because of it, it sustainability. Because we want to make sure the trust fund gets itself mm -hmm. and will sustain us over the next 15, 30 years. It, as the president said, we reached agreement in January on the amount of money and some basic terms. And Plow's counter proposal, which I'll give Brian a copy of, we've been busy on dealing with the floor stuff for today. But, Jeff uh, also works on the floor of the university. I was So uh, uh, we were up work late last night working on the statements and so forth. Um, what, the U.S. proposal uh, added in a number of co conditions and terms for the assistance to Palau that had not been discussed during the course of the negotiations with Palau. So, and the two, my two favorite examples I, have to, I think help illustrate this. One is that they, the U.S. State Department proposal would require Palau to end the tax deductibility of charitable contributions. Um, now, I'm not sure that the President uh, President Obama wants to end the tax deductibility of charitable contributions in the United States. Uh, I think so. <laughs> <laughs> uh, and also, uh, the U.S. would require Palau to set the tax on fish exports at 85 cents a kilogram. And, the, I mean, I didn't know anything about what the tax on fish is in Palau and what it ought to be. But I also know that when I worked for the committee, we didn't have legislation saying what the tax rates ought to be in territories, let alone the freely associated states, yeah. and what the exact rates ought to be. And the president explained to me that he's a leader now in organizing the Pacific countries and, and, and areas into a OPEC-like agreement on tuna to control tuna resources. And they are moving away from taxing based on value. Volume, yeah, or catch. Oh, yeah, export tax. Uh, export tax. And moving toward uh, uh, charging the first sailors $2,000 a day for each day they catch fish. Reason being that it's hard to monitor what each ship is doing in terms of how much they're catching in terms of fish. And the countries feel that it's more effective to just have a flat per day charge rather than a per pound per, per kilogram charge. Mm -hmm so that the U.S. proposal would require Palau to do something that the industry and all of the uh, island areas in the Pacific are moving away from in terms of the way they tax their fish. Mm -hmm. So um, it, it shows why the U.S. shouldn't be micromanaging a local decision like what the tax rate is on fish. Yeah. Yeah. The price of fish should be set by the, the, the <laughs> same time, at this time, some of the fish is are in our waters and not subject to the export tax. For example, all the U.S. fishing vessels, the Japanese fish only for a fixed fee annually. It's unnegotiable. At the same time, under the proposed compact uh, revisions, there's an annual review of how the money is being spent in the law. So that gives us a lot of flexibility. And before closing, I'd like to thank you for the support you rendered for Palau to extend the level of funding from 209 to 210, which we're getting right now. And at this time, uh, as time goes by, we may not have enough time to conclude compact review in order to bring it to the United States budget for this year, 2011. But I understand that President Obama included in the FY11 budget 20.75 million for 2011, which both sides agreed upon as the initial payment for 2011. Both the United States and Canada agreed on that. So we hope you 
would support that in order to stay us until right. the entire package is approved by the Congress. Right. Yeah. Well, I like yeah, I, I, our hope is that we can get the final agreement with the administration on a legislative package soon and you can act on it in the Congress and hopefully pass it before the end of the fiscal year. But if we come to the end of the fiscal year and it hasn't been approved, then Blau would need another extension of funding. And as the President saying, we propose to just use the money that's already in the budget uh, for the first year of the compact review proposal. So unlike last year where Brian worked hard and you, worked, you, you led the effort to try to get money added to the budget to provide for extension, the money's already in the budget and it would, it would be used for the, an extension rather than a compact review funding. We arrived on a Tuesday at 1 p.m. and at 3 p.m. we met Senator Pinkman of Mexico, the chairman, and he mentioned that we'd like to have a hearing on the compact review package sometime in June, and yesterday, uh, late, we met Senator in a way of Hawaii, and he also expressed support for an expeditious approval of the compact package. Very good. Yeah. Well, and the extension, yeah. and the extension, and the extension of funding. Extension yeah. Funding. Yeah. Yeah. So we need some help on this side, maybe, if we get to that stage with Chairman right. Obi. Okay. We'll definitely weigh in with him. Thank you. What other ways can we help? Just like to mention that the Uyghurs are doing well. Uh, they're going to college uh, across courses in this language. I met the last year, uh, Daniel Freed yesterday to uh, advise him of the status of the Uyghurs. And he's working hard to find uh, the uh, permanent uh, settlement location for them because the other thing was they could be the temporary. Uh, but they're doing well. Uh, some are marrying in uh, East Kentucky, the United States uh, uh, Office of Refugees able to assist in bringing their wives or yeah. their wives to be. That's to yeah. and also, So would you describe as model citizens? Well, they're, they're, free, they're free and model citizens, but they need to be, to have, to have families. Yeah. They are free physically, but psychologically they still need to achieve full, full, the fullness of being a free, free people, yeah. to, have a, to have families. And we came uh, really because, uh, you know, the organization, it's an independent group called the Vent Prop, which had been searching for the remains of the American uh, soldiers in Palau for the last 14 years. And when I came last month, I happened to, be, to have sat next to the, the head of that, that team, Dr. Scannon. And he was in Palau March, and he took a hike to uh, search for the uh, location of the burial of the remains of some three airmen working by the Japanese. Mm -hmm. uh, six Spanish priests and a family of four Filipino American, uh, Chamorro wife, and mm -hmm. children. And Ambassador uh, Beck was with us and we took a, a hike over the mountains and we found a possible location. Mm -hmm. So I agreed to come to join the families uh, in the memorial service. Uh, Pay our respects for those uh, young Americans, American oh, heroes yeah. who died in Palau. So, for the last two days, we've attended the ceremonies and I gave short remarks to express our gratitude and appreciation for the sacrifices they made. It's been last free. Mm -hmm. I said that even though they defended the American way of life, they also extended the same rights and freedoms to us, and we're very proud of that and grateful. Oh, that's beautiful. I was interviewed by the CNBC uh, after today's ceremony to the chapel of chapel, went to the Arlington Cemetery. It's a beautiful ceremony. Yeah. We thank you for your time. Well, thank you, Mr. President. Thank you. So good to see you again. So good to see you. Yes. Yeah. Hey, sorry about that earlier. Capitol Hill. Sudah <laughs> <laughs>
They're getting out of secret service. That's okay. I work in the Pentagon. I'm the liaison to Capitol Hill for the Marine Corps. I'm getting my card. We're going to try and get a lot of money. Yes, I'm going to today. I was supposed to get over there, but I had a... You're in the Pentagon now. That's great. It's awesome. Beautiful. My kids are jealous. They want to come see everybody. Senator Diaz, Senator Diaz. Senator Diaz. Senator Diaz. And hosting the Palau. Senator Diaz. Senator Diaz. Senator Diaz. Senator Diaz. Senator Diaz. Come on up. We'll go down to 8th and I in the evening parade. If they have a court reception, you're going to see that. Senator Diaz. 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 Oh yeah. Senator Diaz. Senator Diaz. Senator Diaz. Senator Diaz. Senator Diaz. Our relega, a kisaktor, AIT, or AIT, Advanced Individual Training. Fort Mid Maryland. Fort Mid Maryland. Uh, how long have you been in the Army? Uh, 13 years. 13 years. You're, M you're MOS? 25 Romeo. What's that? Uh, audio Visual. Audio Visual. Oh, related to my MOS. I'm 31 Zulu. Oh, okay. <laughs> Maybe someday when you come to Palau, we can work together. Okay. Okay. Thank you. I see. Okay. I give you a hand on our second. I give you a hand on our reception. I give you a hand on our reception. I give you a hand on our reception. We've had a great day today.